<clears throat> Welcome back everybody. Um, this is part five of the simple design series videos. Um, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, um, comment, share the video if you can, and I appreciate you watching. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is have a very, very simple design on one side and do a little bit more complicated one on the other side. Palletizing my brush right now. And the brush being used today is again the Kafka number three um, and one shot. Um, I believe it's chrome yellow. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, another basic teardrop shape, and it's going to be an open one. So you start at the top, go out, and try to meet it back down, and it tapers down towards the middle. So again, out start tapering down until it gets closer and closer until it hits the middle and lift right up now what we're going to do on this one is we're going to pull a line out and follow it back down so something like that and follow that to the same sequence going down and meeting right at the tip. And we're going to do the same thing over here. And try to make sure you keep the same spacing and the same connection point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a line that kind of goes out. It's kind of going to be a C curve. So something like this. Like this. Trying to make sure you get the same spot in the same direction. And we're going to pull this outward. And in. outward and back in. <clears throat> Just try to clean up the uh, meetup points there. And we're going to connect this back to itself. Now one of the rules uh, with pinstriping that uh, a lot of people try to adhere to is to not leave just an open line so you always want to have it connect back into something now that doesn't always apply but uh, it's a good general rule to follow or so I've heard so that is the simple design and I'm going to show you a little bit more complicated version So I'm going to make it a little taller, just to give us more room to play. So start in the middle, go out, and taper back down until you hit the middle. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Start in the middle, pull out, start to taper downward and inward. Now yellow is one of these colors that is a little bit uh, transparent at times so you might have to go over the lines a few times to get it really solid color. <clears throat> but that's kind of a side topic there. Alright so let's continue. 
and we're going to pull out, run it along the side, and connect it at the bottom. Try to clean up this tip. The same thing over here. Go outward, trying to make sure you got the same angle and the same kind of curve point. Follow that down until it meets up. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do this twice on this one. So again, out and in and then out and in. Kind of gives it that Art Deco feel. And now we're going to do the uh, little outward things. It's going to go out and in. And if you feel more comfortable doing it backwards, you can. So, like that. Try to make sure that you're going as far out as the other one. All right, and this time, just to save some space here, I'm gonna go in, in and then out. But it's, it's a similar idea. In and then out. And back in. So all I did was, instead of just doing a C curve, I did a kind of a inverted one and then another to make an S curve. Just because of the, I was trying to save some space here. So I'll try to make sure you, the same spacing, in and then outward, then back in. Lifting up on your brush at the very end. <clears throat> Let me clean up this side to match the other. Sort of. And now let's connect that line to where it doesn't look like it's floating off into nothing. All right, so this is part five of the simple design series. This is a very simple version of this one, so simple and more complex. Feel free to uh, exaggerate either one into anything you want. Uh, this is just the starting point. I'm trying to give people ideas of uh, where you can go with these. Um, <clears throat> and uh, just trying to help people out. So if you like the content, please subscribe, please share, um, and comment. I appreciate all of you, and have a good night.